Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. So now we just need to cut his mane. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. So today I'm doing another horse makeover. We're already getting started like this with Cash being very interested in this makeover. You have so many flies on you, you already got a makeover. All right, you guys, let's get back into this little intro really quick. So we have Blaze here. He has not had a horse makeover on my channel yet. So I'm really excited for him to get his makeover. He really needs it. He's just coming off of his winter coat that he's had all year. So we need to finish that de-shedding process for him, get him nice and cleaned up and looking good for the summer. So he's hiding, I think. It's gonna be okay. So, two things that are different in this horse makeover today than my previous ones is that we are in an official, more official, wash rack area rather than just tying the horses up to the fence like we have in the past. So we are using our wash rack today. And if you guys are real OGs of my channel, you will know what exactly this is and why I'm so excited. So in my Bathing All My Pets video, a long time ago at our old property, I use this and it's called the Easy Wash Wand. I got it off Amazon and you guys know I loved this thing. You guys all loved this thing. And in my other horse makeovers, you guys always ask where this was. Well, the problem was is that it has been broken by Mike. So blame Mike. Mike ran it over a while back. So we finally got a new one for this makeover. Cashy is probably gonna help today. He's picking out what we're gonna use. But we finally got a new one and I'm so excited to use it today. It is the bomb and you guys will see. So I also realized if you guys go back to that video, you will see, which I'm thinking that I got the smaller one a long time ago, not even realizing that they had a bigger one. So I got this one, not even knowing, and I am so excited. So let's just go ahead and get right into this makeover. He's already looking for other things to do other than get this makeover. But we are going to do this before Cash completely takes everything over. So if you guys are excited for today's makeover, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance for my post notification shout out. All right, you guys, let's get into making over plays. Are you excited? He doesn't look very thrilled. So we had this debate in one of my previous makeovers is do you guys bathe and then do a dry groom or do you dry groom and then bathe? So I'm super curious what you guys do. Hey, hold on, hold on, we're not there yet. I can see that's gonna become a problem. Hey, so rude. So anyways, back to the question, do you guys bathe and then dry groom or do you groom and then bathe? So I just in my head logically think that I need to dry groom first and then bathe. So that's what we're gonna do. He's pretty dirty. He literally has a valley right here on his spine of the dirt. So that needs to come out. And then right here, as you guys can see, he's kind of doing his last bit of shedding. So we could even just pull this out of it and you guys can see that this is that winter coat. So we're gonna go ahead and do the last bit of his winter coat. Oh my gosh, so dusty. And just like that, it's going away. My goodness. Let's see what he picks up this time. We can't even focus on this makeover. Here he goes. We're not there yet. We haven't even bathed him. He's trying to pick up the squeegee. Cash wants to use the squeegee. Cash, what are you doing? He says, I'm going to squeegee blaze. <laughs> okay. I wonder why there's all those little bite marks on it. He's bound and determined to pick the squeegee up. Look at those teeth, you guys. Quit it. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. All right, you've got a couple more chances until I move this whole thing because you are being very distracting for this makeover. Well, I guess if this keeps him entertained while we continue with this makeover, whoa. You're a genius. So we've already got this bit off the de-shedding and it's so cool to see the de-shedding process. Is this tickly, Blaze? See his skin. Is this tickly? Okay. So I'm just using this metal curry comb. I guess this is what you would call it. Basically, it's just a metal curry comb. I like to use this only basically during the winter time when I'm trying to get out a little bit of shedding right before I go in with my regular curry comb. So 
So next up, I'm just using my little plastic curry. This is my favorite curry to use. It's just easy and small, and they're really cheap, so I always get new ones whenever I go to Tractor Supply. I'm just gonna curry him. It's so dusty. I swear I'm gonna sneeze one of these times. Look at all this dirt coming off of him. Oh my gosh. He's gonna feel so good. He's about to lose a couple pounds in dirt. <laughs> You roll too much out there. Make sure we get under the main. He has so many little cuts on him and little bite marks from Cash and him always playing together. Look at this pile of dirt we have created. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. So gross. All right, let's get rid of that. And just like that, it's gone. <laughs> Now we're just working on this side. Cannot believe how dirty he is. So this is exactly why, in my opinion, I dry groom before I bathe, because I like to get all this dirt off so it's not like a buildup. Oh my goodness, it's gonna make me sneeze. His mane is so tangly and just really needs a good brushing through and clipping off some dead ends. But oh my gosh, we got to get the rest of that dirt off of him because he still has a lot just piling up on him So I'm gonna use my big grooming brush. This is a hard bristle brush. I just get all the dirt off with this All right, Blaze. Oh my gosh, he's already shining right here already with just a little bit of currying So pretty. I hope the camera's picking up that shine Okay And to the other side Look at all that dirt. Goodbye, dirt. Okay, so he still is very dirty still. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and now we are gonna bathe him with our handy dandy easy wash wand. I'm so excited. This is my first time using it since we re-got it. So. so it's time for the easy wash wand. I'm so excited because it gives like a really satisfying wash. So this is how it works. So you push this little lever and it turns it on. Whoa! So cool, okay. Ready, let's go. We'll get his legs. And I can stand pretty far away, so this is cool. You need your feet done, buddy. Tomorrow the farrier comes. My hose has a hole in it and it's getting down my boots. Isn't that the worst when water gets down your boots? Oh my gosh, my socks are wet. Ugh. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna get butt. Putting in his butt cheeks. Does that feel weird, Blake? I can only imagine that this feels like a massage because if you just like, look at those lines, it's like so satisfying. Here, watch. Ready? His belly. Whoa! So cool. Let's take a massage. I think using this really, like, I can put it really close to his skin, and I just like to prep this to get all the dirt off, pretty much first. How does this feel, buddy? So cool though. Look at that. <laughs> it's a neck massage. So now that we have just washed him off with the water, what are you doing? We need to shampoo him. Oh, that's why we can't have nice things. These horses just mess with everything. So we were gonna be using that. So we need to clean this off first because now this is this is what you wanna be bathed with. Can you leave that there for a second? So we're going to go ahead and we are gonna use the Vetrisen shampoo and the sponge that he wants to eat. Why do you wanna eat the sponge? Why do you want the sponge so bad? What are you doing? He's holding on to it. Hey, this isn't a game. This isn't a game. We need to bathe you with this. Now it's all dirty. Now that I cleaned this the best I could. You want some water? <laughs> Is that yummy? All right, you guys, let's get to bathing him. So I really like to use this Vegersin shampoo because it's in a spray bottle, so anything that makes things easier. And I probably use a little bit too much, but it's just so fun to spray. So we're just gonna spray him on down. Get that tail nice and good. Now he looks like an Appaloosa, oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Mike, your quarter horse turned into an Appaloosa. Yay. Okay. Gotta get the mane. Don't get all scared, please. Legs. Oh my gosh, horses are so big that this is convenient, but your hands really start to hurt after spraying it so much. Gotta get your chest here. And we're gonna clean him like a car. I literally, every time I'm bathing my horse, I feel like I'm washing a car because I use these big sponges. Gotta scrub those feet. You gotta clean your butt cheeks, ladies. <laughs> Just going along his butt here. Gotta get him all nice and scrubbed up. Okay, now we're on this side of him. Okay, lots of suds on this side. We're gonna take my little bucket over here that I have some soapy water. I actually use the mane and tail soap. And I'm gonna just put a little bit on his mane. There we go. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my hands. Sometimes these are the best tools. So I'm just gonna squish it all up. Make it so sudsy. We're gonna make it all sudsy, Blaze. Okay, he really needs this, his mane is not the best right now. I'll take my brush, and I'm gonna brush it out. Starting from the bottom, up, so it doesn't pull him or tangle him. It's got a knot right there. Here we go. Now we're getting to more knot territory, but we did a nice shampooing here. I know, Blaze. I'm sorry. He's like, quit it. I kind of hate brushing my hair too, Blaze. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. So now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to go to his tail. I'm going to put his full tail in the bucket. <laughs> like a washing machine. We're going to swirl his tail around in there, get it super sudsy. And then... Since we can't get up here doing that, watch this though. Ready, ready, ready. Look at all those suds. Okay, so now, reverse ice bucket challenge is gonna go on his butt. Oh, is that a little cold? It, was, it touched my leg too, and it was cold. Okay, we're almost done. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna brush it out, but probably not completely with this because I don't wanna pull his hair because he's got a lot of tangles in the tail and we still have conditioner to do but I just want to get it all the dirt out of it because I just saw some dirt in it so we'll make sure that we get all the dirt out so that's pretty good with all the shampoo thank you for holding on to this now it's time that we rinse them off and then do some conditioner here it goes Ooh, look at those lines oh my gosh it's so satisfying look at all those lines that is so cool and his mane, oh my goodness. Okay, his mane looks so good just from that brushing. It's okay, Blaze. He's got all these cool lines on him. <laughs> Wonder if we can make a design. Okay, we're gonna do circles. All right, guys, let me try something else. Let me know if you guys can see what I draw with this. Okay, can you see it? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys can see what I do. This is gonna be a pretty tough one because I did it with just the water. So basically, 
we will rinse him until he starts to rinse clear. As you can see right there, pretty clear. And then this perfectly gets both of his legs at the same time. That is awesome. Watch this, ready? <laughs> this is great. Now we gotta get his tail. Make sure his tail rinse is clear. So his tail is pretty much running clear, so it looks like we got all the soap out of his tail. So I really like when I get his face. Hey, get off my hose! He literally said you are not gonna spray my face. <gasps> and he is refusing, so he will stand on my hose. So I just had to rinse his face and he is not very happy. <laughs> Look at them teeth first though but you can see his ears are pinned <laughs> and his little forelock is nice and rinsed out. It just really needed to be. He's so angry though. Okay, that's enough being angry. It's gonna be fine. And Blaze has three tiny little cuts on his head from playing around with Cash. What are we gonna do with you guys? It's conditioner time, so I'm using my mane and tail conditioner. I'm just gonna use this in his mane and his tail. That was ironic. But we're gonna go ahead and use this conditioner just to make the knots come out a lot better. We have gotten rid of all of the knots pretty much in the mane, but the tail needs some work. So starting on his tail, I'm just gonna run the conditioner all the way down. Okay, we might've used a little bit much, but oh well. So now I'm almost gonna give him like a conditioning treatment because I'm gonna put this in and then I'm gonna let it sit for a minute while we go and do the mane. All right, buddy, conditioner time. So I'm just using my hands again, running it through, and now we're gonna use the brush. So nice. This is what I'm talking about. Now we're just running through it like nothing. Perfect. So now, that was really easy. It looks beautiful though. So now I think it's a good time to trim up his mane while his tail is still doing the treatment. So my shears that I usually use are gone. So I'm using my barn scissors. So this will be a little bit choppy, but it's gonna be fine. So now we just need to cut his mane and we're just gonna take off just like the longer ends, just so that the ends are more uniform. Cool. We're not gonna do much. Well, maybe we'll, let's do a little bit more. These scissors are not the best scissors, I will say. So I'm gonna angle it, I think, just so it swoops down his neck. He has a very thin mane, come to think of it. See all these straggly ends, so we'll just get rid of those. This side has a lot of conditioner in it. Just finished trimming his mane. We like our horse's manes really long, but I do like to make sure that they don't look all straggly. So I just tousled it all to see what it was really gonna look like. Looks great. So he's still gonna be getting his little treatment here because we're not gonna rinse it out yet. We're gonna go ahead and do his tail. All right, let's see how much of a project this is gonna be. Hopefully it's not too bad, but I'm gonna start really low here. Okay, so the conditioner has been doing its job. He just has a really naughty tail, but it's really done good work. So we're just gonna brush through it, get his tail nice and detangled. His tail is so tangly. I have to do it in sections now. It's coming through. It's looking really good. The little treatment did really good. I suggest if you guys have horses, give them a little conditioning treatment here and there. <laughs> All right, here it goes. It is so soft, you guys. I wish you could feel it. Oh my goodness, so nice. That is a makeover in itself. His tail really needed that. <laughs> Look at that cut job, looks so good. He doesn't have any like, complete split ends now. Hey, come back, come back, come back. They're not gonna be able to save you from out there. 
We're getting closer to the finish line, so I'm gonna use this little squeegee thing. It's actually like a sweat scraper, but this will help get all the water off. So I'm just going to try to dry them as best as I can. So as you can see, the water runs down. Just trying to get them nice and dried off. Now watch this, ready? My goodness. So now we are basically done. Kashi. He's trying to finish it for us, but we've already finished. Hey! He said, we need more, Mom. So we're basically done with our part, but as you guys can see, his feet need some love. So he does have this crack in here, which we really won't be able to fully get out, but the farrier is coming tomorrow to complete his makeover. So we are gonna put him in his stall for tonight and the final pieces of this makeover to make him look like a new man, or should I say new gelding, will happen when he gets his feet done. of his feet no more crack hi blaze so his makeover is perfectly completed now from head to toe literally he is so shiny today he looks so good he needed this makeover and his mane and tail are so soft like this is the second day and it just runs right through it. It's so pretty. All right, you guys, well, if you enjoyed today's horse makeover on Blaze, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, I have a chance to my post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to. All right, you guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.